guess what? We've got a new teacher joining the academy. How amazing is that? So amazing, right? Whoa, that is big news. Who's our new teacher? Oh, I was so excited when Heatwave told me I forgot to ask. I hope it's Bumblebee. It's gotta be Optimus Prime. Could be my Uncle Ratchet. Wait, the Ratchet? Mm-hmm. That's important He's information. He's your uncle? Oh. There's lots of bots in my family. Great Aunt Apex, Grandpa Torque Steer, Second Cousin Wrench. Did I ever tell you about the time he used a sprocket spanner on a titanium bolt? <laughs> ah, good times. Let's go meet the new Teach. Hey. Good morning, recruits. I'm guessing by the fact you're early to class, you've heard we have a new teacher starting today. Windblade, RC? Please be Bumblebee. Please be Bumblebee. Not second cousin Wrench. What? Uh, no. It's Grimlock. Whoa. Whoa. Who know? Grimlock. You know, one of B's best friends. Strong, brave, great bot to have your back. I've got his collector card. So, where is he? Are puddles supposed to do that? Yeah! They're all yours, Grim. Our new teacher's a Dinobot? You didn't mention that part. Yeah, cool, huh? No, not cool. Not cool at all. Hey, recruits, I'm Grimlock. Who's ready to smash some metal? <laughs> My job is to stop the bad guys, especially big, dangerous ones. But, sir, you're huge. I mean, taking on bad guys is no problem for a Dinobot, but what about us? Size isn't the same as strength. I'll show you. Wedge, right? Come here. <laughs> Ugh, awesome! See? I used surprise, not size, and a little thing I call style. Woohoo! Oh, yeah! Not too bad. You got potential. You hear that? I got potential. Bonus lesson. Save the victory dance for the locker room. Did you see how he slammed me with just his tail? Wham! You weren't the only thing he slammed. Look! I see why Grimlock is a legend among bots and cleaning staff. He's so funny. Look! He's making everything bounce. <laughs> you! What do you do if you meet an Insecticon in a dark alley? Need more info, huh? Good call. The alley's a dead end. It's a stormy night. What do you do? Psst. Hoist. You still with us? More of a claws on bot, huh? Come on down. Okay, I'll be the Insecticon. Ready? I'm coming at you. <laughs> sure. Sometimes running away is a good plan. Lesson two, vehicle mode chase. Here are the rules. Catch me if you can. Take one and pass them down. Decals? Noble. Even better, bubble shields. Just press it to turn it on. Remember, extra points for style. You ready? I got him. I got him. Got him. Sorry. Bad guy getting away over here. Wow. Unfortunate. You're supposed to catch me, not each other. To be one step ahead, you gotta think ahead. Am I gonna go this way or this way? Or that way? <gasps> Best lesson ever. Nice first day, Grimlock. Gotta admit, I was nervous. Me, a teacher? But they're good kids. Uh, I think one of them cut class. Yay high, blue. Doesn't talk much. Hoist? Strange. He's never missed a lesson before. I'll see if I can get to the bottom of it. 
Hey, Hoist. Missed you in class and... Stop! Don't get any closer. I have... Rust Rot. Oh, no! What's Rust Rot? It's a super contagious and completely not made up Cybertronian disease. That does not sound good or look good. I can't come to class. Maybe ever again. Get back, Chief. Hoist has rust rot. I see. <gasps> Looks like a miracle cure. You're good to go to class, Hoist. Unless there's some other reason you think you shouldn't. Glad you're back. You're just in time for my stories about the baddest, scariest dino bots ever. Like Underbite. That is one mean chopperzoid. He was all. Rah, 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 rah. And Scout. He was more of a henchbot, like smashing stuff. But what dino bot doesn't? Hoist? Where'd he go now? Hoist? Hey! I, I, I was just. Looking for uh, a, a tape measure in case I need to measure something. Like the tape measure you're holding in your hand? Um, yeah. Just like this one. <laughs> Thanks, Maddox. Hmm. Okay, something is seriously wrong with Hoist, and it's up to us to figure out what. Oh, uh, well, how'd that happen? Better get some more supplies. Hoist. What's going on? We're kind of worried about you. Uh, and don't say it's rust rod or a lost tape measure. We mean what's really wrong. <sighs> I'm scared of Dinobots, okay? Like, really scared. Even of the little ones. And Grimlock's a really, really big one. But Coach Grimlock is cool. So? Dinobots like to squish whole buildings and use them as slippers. You've seen that? Well. No, but a friend of a construction bot's cousin did. I believe Coach Grimlock is only a threat to gym equipment. <laughs> <laughs> See, I knew you'd laugh at me. That's why I didn't say anything. We're not laughing at you, Hoist. Yeah, we're all scared of something. Right. Sometimes I imagine going into a test unprepared. It sends a chill through my servos. And I'm scared of losing. Seriously terrified. Not a fan of heights. Spaghetti. Huh? huh? It's like a million tiny snakes with tomatoes. <gasps> wow. I thought it was just me who got scared of stuff. You're not alone. And even better, we're going to help you get over your Dinobot fear. Hmm. Try to imagine whale song. That's relaxing. All you have to remember is don't take a Dinobot by surprise. They smash first, ask questions later. Ugh. Not helping, medics. Okay, let's work on intimidating the enemy. Start with your deepest, angriest roar. Ah! Huh? It's a cat. Get it off! Get it off! A Dinobot afraid of an eensy weensy kitty cat? I guess everyone really is scared of something. We better help him. Here, kitty kitty. Aw, oh, did the big bot scare you? Why didn't you do that before? Uh, catch a cat? No, I mean, that was some fast thinking rescue work against a fierce beast. But he's itty bitty and you're huge. He's cute and you're terrifying. Oops, did I say that out loud? Mr. Petty Paws, out for another adventure, huh? Let's go home. Ugh, cats. Fluffy balls of horror. What? There's nothing to be ashamed about. Being brave means being scared and doing the right thing anyway, like Hoist did. He thinks I'm scary, but he still came to class and helped this terrifying dino out. I got pretty big teeth, don't I? Or is it the tail? It's the tail, isn't it? It's both and the overall <laughs> bigness. But thanks to my friend's help, nothing I can't work through. 
This is so exciting. I can't believe Professor Grimlock is taking us to Wayward Island. You mean Dino Island. Right! I've been up all night studying all the different dinosaurs we'll see there, like this guy. It is remarkable that the creatures survived there beneath the ground for millennia. I just can't wait to meet a T-Rex and see if he's as fast as me. You want to race a dinosaur? You don't? I, for one, am excited to examine the flora of the island to see if any of it has unknown healing properties. Well, I hope you all have fun. You're not coming. Heat Wave gave me permission to stay here. I wouldn't be caught within 10 feet of a real dinosaur. Whoa! Ah! Get ready to rumble, recruits. It's ground bridge time. Hoist. Heat Wave says you're not coming with us. No, sir. I wish I was, but with the rest of the teachers gone today, somebody has to watch the academy. Right. Well, if anything happens, use the emergency radio. We'll come right back. Let's go, team. That T-Rex better be ready to eat my dust. Yeah, my money's on the lizard. You should come with us, Hoist. It might help you get over your fear of dinosaurs. World's right. There is medical proof that facing your fear can be helpful. Not facing your fears makes sense, too. I mean, I'm also afraid of being eaten by scraplets, but you wouldn't tell me to try that, right? Hmm. You do have a point. Welcome to Dino Island. Look at this place. What fascinating creatures. Uh, what was that? Whoa. Looks like a prehistoric rhino. Triceratops. What good guess. Uh, Should we be running? Don't worry, he's an herbivore. Meaning? Meaning, he only eats plants. What are you doing? Watch it! Uh-oh. Whoa! Looks like the bridge brought some of the island back with us. You never left the island, Professor. The ground bridge portal disappeared. I gotta reopen it. That's a double uh-oh. It's no good. We need Hoist to open the bridge from his side. With his fear of dinosaurs, I don't think he'll be much help, sir. We still have to warn him. I'll call him on the radio. You recruit, start thinking of another way off this rock. Okay, medics, let's see if this theory of yours works. Face your fears, face your fears, face your... <laughs> Face your fears? How? I'm afraid to. Hmm, that's weird. How did a sim get all the way out here? Grimlock to base. Come in, Hoist. Grimlock to base. Go ahead, sir. Hoist, listen carefully. There's a dinosaur loose in the academy. I know, the sim must be glitching. Wait, how did you know? Are you guys back? No, Hoist. It's a real dinosaur. It came through the ground bridge. Wait, what What came through... what? Don't worry. It only eats veggies. <sighs> Hoist, did I lose it? So, that's not good. Think, Whirl. What could make an herbivore act so aggressively? Bad day, tummy ache, or... <gasps> Aha! Medics, look at this. It's like one of these footprints has an extra toe. Hmm, that is curious. Nature puzzles will have to wait. We need to get back to hoists now. World could fly some of us back. But not everyone, unless Hotshot helps in jet mode. Oh, sorry, World. I already chose to be an ATV. My multicog won't let me be a jet for 24 hours. That's 24 hours too late. 
Well, if there's no way Grimlock can float, we'll have to drive back. Underwater. Huh? I know how to make him float. Ta-da! Trees? Not trees. Skis. Water skis. Great idea, Wedge. Uh, says who? Take care of the academy. Great idea, Hoist. How's it going up there, Whirl? Good. I think I see the academy. Ah, humans actually do this for fun? Ah. Let's just hope Hoist is doing better than Grimlock is. There's a good dinosaur. You stay on your side of the academy, and I'll stay on mine. Oof. Professor Heatwave is not going to like that. What? I know, I know, it's trashing the Academy, but what am I supposed to do about it? The team would say trap it. That's because they're not afraid of dinosaurs. Oh, come on, Chuck. Even if I did try, how do you catch a huge veggie eater like that? Genius. I'm too scared to get close to that thing, but with the remote control, I won't need to. Go get him, cowboy. Ready to get roped, you prehistoric troublemaker? Yippee ki yay! Yippee ki yay! What do you hear, Whirl? Is that Chuck? Hoist, can you hear me? Yes, Professor. You okay? Where's the Triceratops? Staring at me. Did you hear that? It sounds angry. Well, that's what I thought at first, but now I think it sounds hurt. Is it licking its foot? Yeah. How did you know? I saw something in its footprint. I thought it was an extra toe, but now I think it has something stuck in its foot. If that's true, Hoist, you need to examine it. Examine what? The foot. No way! Any other ideas? Anyone? Anything? Sorry, Hoist. Medics is right. You're a rescue bot recruit. That means you help, no matter what needs helping. Uh, do I have to remind you I'm terrified of dinosaurs? Never said it was easy. <sighs> Still open to a plan B if anyone's got one. You can do this. Nice dinosaur. Let me just take a look at this foot. I won't hurt you. <laughs> what am I saying? Don't you hurt me. Oh, that rock looks sharp. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I... <laughs> Hoist! Are you okay? I'm fine. Did you know that without a sharp rock in their foot, herbivores are very nice for dinosaurs? Ha! You don't say. Not that I'm saying you're not nice too, sir. And I was thinking, maybe we could keep him as our rescue mascot. Tell you what, ask Heatwave. I'm pretty sure that's a no. Wow, Hoist. Looks like you're finally over your fear. Huh? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> or not. Hey, wait up! This is T-Rex. Don't you want to race? <laughs> oh. 
I'm not sure what I'm more pumped for. Today's mission or finding out which one of us is in charge of it. You really think Heatwave was serious when he said one of us would be team leader for the day? Totally. And you don't have to guess who. It's obvious who the leaderiest leader here is. Nice of you to say so, Hotshot. It'll be my honor to lead you all. What? I was talking about me. <laughs> what if it's not either of you? Well, I know it's not me. Heatwave already told me my role. I play the human who needs rescuing. Wow, that sounds hard. How do you even know what to do? Research. I've been practicing highly accurate human in peril simulations. <clears throat> Help. Help. My name is Timmy, and I have fallen down a well. Ooh, I'll save you. I'm coming. Hey, back up, Hotshot. I'm leading this rescue. You back up, Wedge, and get your pistons out of my blasters. Whoa! Don't worry, Timmy. I got you. <sighs> guys, guys, no need to argue. You'd both make great leaders. Maybe you could be in charge together. <laughs> As if. No thanks. I mean it. Hotshot, you're a great athlete. And Wedge, you always keep a level head under pressure. You'd make a great leadership team. Hoist is right. Heatwave, uh, I am? Really? really? Yep. And that's why I'm making you leader today. What? But, but... Interesting. Leadership's more than just rescue skills. It's also about helping the team work together and get along, like Hoist was doing. So come on, recruits. Let's get started. Really? Me? Leader? Don't stress it. You'll be great for the job. I believe in you. And so does Heatwave. Thanks, Whirl. I just wish I believed in me. Help. Help. I have never been so scared. I may pass out from terror. There's your mission, recruits. Medix is trapped on the ledge of a deep and narrow ravine. Figure out how to rescue him, then work together to bring him back. I bet you have a really great idea of what we should do, right, Hoist? Um, well, uh, I'm kind of new to this whole leader thing, so uh, maybe you could give me some pointers, sir. Sorry, Hoist. There's an emergency I need to go help with. This is what training is for. Practice. Just take charge. And the rest of you, listen to your leader. Well, I do have this one idea, and it might be okay. It might even be kind of good. Go on. You got this. Right. I mean, only if everyone else thinks it might be worth a try. Let me fly it past you. Oh, great idea, Hoist. Really? But I didn't even finish. So here's what we'll do. You said fly, right? I'll transform into my jet plane form, then zoom down and save medics. Um, was that your plan, Hoist? Not even close. Please hurry. I don't think I can hang on much longer. Um, wait, Hotshot! I think there's a problem with this idea. Exactly. How is he going to save medics in his vehicle form? He needs hands. My hands! Wait up, Hotshot! What? No, that's not the problem. Wedge, what are you doing? Ugh! Gonna fit. That's what I was trying to tell you. You have to pull up. I uh, can't. Oh, it's the weight. Wedge needs to move back. Really? Then tell them. What if it doesn't help? I mean. Oh, I'll do it then. Wedge, step back along hot shot. What? Why? Just do it. Move toward his tail. You almost made me crash. Well, if you were a better flyer... Oh, guys, no, don't argue. Anyone could see you wouldn't fit. Well, not with you on my back. Medics needs our help, remember? Won't someone please rescue me from this terrible nightmare? I'm just a poor, helpless child with his whole life left to live. Look, Hoist's in charge today. And I bet if we just listen to him, he has a really excellent rescue plan. Right? Um, yeah. At least, um, it's an okay plan. I'll just dig into it. Yes, that's perfect, Hoist. 
Right. Except he didn't actually say his plan yet. Well, sure he did. Here's how it works. I use these to dig down to medics. Nice thinking, Hoist. But I didn't... Oh, me. Oh, my. Will no one save me? I will! Oh! Ow! <laughs> Wedge is hopeless at this. He needs my help. I'm going after him. Uh, I'm kind of worried that there's a bigger problem. Ah! It's okay. I'm here now. But we don't need you. Get back in the tunnel. Ooh. No, we don't need you. You get back in. Get Ooh. back in the tunnel. You get back in. Guys, all that tunneling and pushing is going to break the ledge. They're not listening. We have to do something. <laughs> Oh, Primus. The ledge is gonna break. Whirl quick. Transform. On it. Saving my favorite one for a moment just like this. Ayo, <clears throat> ayo. This is all just too much for poor little old me. I fear I may swoon. Oh, swoon is an antiquated human expression for fainting. Impossible for a bot, of course, but quite appropriate for the situation were I indeed a human. Oh! This is all your fault, Wedge. You got us into this, Hotshot. What a disaster. Uh, if Hotshot and Wedge had just listened to me, we wouldn't even be in this mess. I guess it's gonna take a team leader to get us out of it. It was your pistons that did it. Well, if you hadn't turned into a jet... Hey, enough! Listen! I'm in charge of this mission, and it's time to follow my plan. You tell him, Hoist! Finally. Okay, first, we need a line. Right. Now here I come. I'm going to hook you, Whirl. But that means you have to stop your rotors, or my cable will get tangled in them. If Whirl stops her rotors, won't we all just plunge to the bottom of the ravine? What? what? Oh, calamity. We're doomed, I tell you. Doomed. Wait, are we actually doomed? Not if we time it perfectly. And that means you all have to do exactly as I say, exactly when I say it. Are you ready? Ready! Let's do this, Team Leader Hoist. Okay, here goes. Hotshot, fire your blast gauntlets and keep firing them. Hey, good idea, Hoist. Nice. Now Whirl's in range of my other tow cable. Wedge, your turn. Hold out your arms and use your power drivers. Whoa, smart thinking. It's working. Temporarily. By my calculations, Hotshot and Wedge have enough power to hold us here for another six seconds. And then... We're doomed! Not yet. World, stop your rotors. Ah! Ah! Whew, got ya. Way to lead, Hoist! We're saved! But now what? Yeah, how do we get back on the land? Simple. Just fire one blaster towards the far wall, Hotshot. Line up with the tunnel and let go! Ugh. Now, if you climb back up and reel me in, I can do what I was planning in the first place. Pull you up with my main tow line. You did it! I knew you'd have a great plan, Hoist. Yeah, but we didn't. We didn't even give you a chance to be a team leader. Sorry, Hoist. That's okay. Heatwave told me being a leader means taking charge. But it took me a while to realize that a big part of that is speaking up. I see you completed your training exercise, recruits. And that someone was an excellent leader. Yeah, wait till I tell you all about how Hoist took charge. You'll leave out the best parts. Let me tell it. What? No way. <clears throat> I think medics should tell the story. After all, we did make him wait down on that ledge the whole time and dangle him over a bottomless drop into a ravine. This I gotta hear. 
Well, it all started when I was stranded on that dangerous cliff. Cody said they use it for throwing balls? Why don't they just use their hands? That's what I said! Is it time yet? That is the seventh time you have asked, and the answer is the same. Heat Wave will let us know when it's time. Why are you so excited anyway? It'll just be another training sim. Ugh. Did you have to ask him that? He's going to tell us about the leaderboard again. Check out the leaderboard. Ugh. I'm in second place behind Blades, and he's only above me because... He's better than you? He was one of the first to play, but one more crushing sim victory by me. And I'll be crowned king of the rescue bots. You know there's no crown, right? When you become king, will we have to bow? He's not really becoming a king, Medix. He's just excited. Why shouldn't I be excited? I've got this record on lock. There is nothing I can't do right now. Nothing? Hmm, that seems unlikely. Could you hop on one finger? Ha, hey, voila. Dude, you gotta do better than that. Students, make your way to Hero Hall for today's exercise. All the way to the Hero Hall? See you there, your royal highness. I'm confused. Is he a king or not? Okay, you got this. Good. Let's proceed. Today's lesson is... Wait, where's Hotshot? He's on his way, sir. I told him to hop to it. Nearly there! Hang on! Yes, I did it! Nothing is impossible for King... Uh-oh. Whoa! This is a serious lesson, Hotshot. Totally. Just... Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm right. The lesson of today's exercise is fight the battles you can win. But how will we know which battles we can win and which we can't? May we have more information? That is all the information you need. Prepare yourselves, recruits. Okay, everyone, be ready for anything. We are taking this sim down. Maybe there's a ferocious snow tiger or something loose in the house that we need to capture. Hmm. I see no tigers, and those sim people appear to pose no threat. Well, they do seem frightened, though. Don't worry, sim people. We'll protect you from, uh, you know, whatever it is. What is that? It's ice. Ice? Ha! <laughs> is that all? At its present rate of movement, the ice will reach the house in less than one Earth minute. So? So I'm guessing it'll do a little damage. It won't do a little damage. It will destroy the house completely. One Earth minute? No problem. I'll stop this in one Earth second. I got it, I got it. I don't think he's got it. How am I doing? It's really quite incredible. You appear to be having no effect on the wave whatsoever. Yeah, you go, King. Okay, could do with a hand here. Uh, it's not working. Um, okay, a little bit stuck. It would appear that we have failed. Oh no. No, 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 not on my watch. I'm number one. I'm simulation failed. Okay, we're starting again from the beginning. We can do this. We just need to follow three clear steps. One, planning. Two, throw everything we've got at it. Three, write my name at the top of the leaderboard. Okay? Yes! yes. Great, so that's the plan. Unless anyone wants to give us any clues. No clues. Okay, reset the sim and activate. <laughs> medics, break the ice with your clamps. Wedge, transform, and clear Medics's broken ice away with your bucket. 
Whirl, use your rotors to try to blow the ice back out onto the lake. On it! Hoist, you're with me. I'll use my sonic blasters to break up the ice. You drag it away. Got it! Let's do this! be a way of stopping it. What are we doing wrong? Fight the battles you can win. It would help if we knew what we were dealing with. It seems to be a rare but natural phenomenon that some humans call an ice wave. How does it work? Severe cold causes the water to freeze, while high winds blow the ice towards the land. Okay, great. So how do we stop it? No one has ever stopped one. We'll just have to be the first. I am not giving up on being number one on that leaderboard. We're with you, Hotshot. Restart the sim. If we can't stop it, maybe we can divert it around the house. We need to create a wall. I'm sorry, but I believe my calculations are 100% correct. You cannot alter the course of the ice. I don't know the meaning of cannot. It's a word used when one is unable to do a thing or task. I don't know the meaning of the word unable either. Stand firm, everyone. Here it comes. It's not working! Simulation failed. Ah! Restart sim. If we can't push it around the house, maybe we can lift it over. A ramp. It won't work. Oh, it really is unstoppable, isn't it? Here we go! Brace yourselves! Ah! Ah! Simulation failed. Let's try melting it. Whirl, direct the heat. Computer, I get it. Go again. Stop. It's over, Hotshot. There must be a way to stop it. There has to be. Does there? I don't get it, sir. Have we misunderstood the exercise? You have not. But if you're saying the wave can't be stopped... Then we shouldn't waste our time trying. But there are people in the house. Exactly. And that's the battle we can win. Right, sir? Reset and activate. So what's the answer, Hotshot? We save the humans. They're what matters most. And that's a battle we can win. Well done, Recruit. You're thinking like a rescue bot. I can't believe this is all we can achieve in this exercise. We couldn't stop the ice, but at least we rescued the people. And learned a valuable lesson. Sometimes, the battle cannot be won. And in those cases, a rescue bot's priority is to help as many people as we can. Does Hotshot now have the win that lifts his score above Blades? Lift! Medics! That's the answer! The lesson is over, Hotshot. Hotshot's right! We could use my winch! And the rest of us could take the weight. It might just work. Uh, what might work? Sir, I believe we would like another run at this mission. But you have all learned the lesson. And it's a great lesson, sir, don't get me wrong. But these sim humans lost everything to the ice. And I think we can do better than that. This is an interesting solution. Take it away. there was a way to save the house. Uh, yes, very clever. Now, can you give us a hand? Shh. 
genius. No one ever thought of doing that before. <laughs> Maybe he deserves a crown after all. Roll out! Don't worry, Mrs. Rubio. We'll have you out of there in no time. Ah, I'm a little short. Moro, can you reach it with your winch? Big bummer of a negative hoist. I don't have a clear shot. Now what? <gasps> I got it! Something I saw on a human TV show. We all take off our belts and tie them together and use them to pull the car out! Whirl, we don't have belts. Details, details. Maybe a plan that's a bit more logical. Ugh! Logic takes too long. We need to do something. Hotshot's right. Time for planning is over. Whoa! <gasps> She has the worst luck with her car. Good teamwork, recruits. Let's head back to the Academy. Wish we had a slow-mo replay of that rescue. We were amazing. Well, yeah. That cool part where I was all, and you were like, bam. And then we lifted the whole car. Yeah. Never realized how heavy you are, Hoist. What's wrong? The rescue. If only I had a longer winch to begin with, you guys wouldn't have had to jump in to help. We're supposed to jump in, Hoist. We're a team. I know what you mean. You want your own hero moment to shine. Like if I could have blasted those rocks away from the car with, you know, a, a, a rock blaster. Pachoo, pachoo, pachoo. Hot shot, you saved me. Excellent thought. Tools that would give us extra ability. Yeah, yeah, but cool, like superpowers. Pachoo, pachoo! You mean like the things our teachers use? What things? The rescue bots have attachments for all kinds of emergencies. High speed fire nozzles, foam cannons, even sonic blasters. That's what I'm talking about, blasting things. Yeah, or super fists. Smash things, the old fashioned way. I always thought it'd be neat to have rotors, even in bot mode. What would you do with them? <laughs> be really awesome. I'd go for something practical, built-in cutter clamps. I could simply snip the door off a car to save someone rocks or no rocks. Then let's do it. Let's get some of these attachments. Yeah. Um, where? <gasps> Hoist! He's a great inventor. You should see the things he's come up with. Tell him, Hoist. Well, like uh, visor wipers for rescuing in the rain. And musical shoes, so every step is a song. Oh, and the went cam. It straps to the back of your head to show you where you've been. If he can build things like that, he could definitely make cool tools for our team. I don't know. I mean, you can do it. Statistically, you are the perfect bot for the job. Just make sure my blaster goes pachoo, pachoo, okay? Well, as humans say, ta-da! Which means something very different in many galaxies. Here, these videos will show you what your cool tools do and how to operate them. Whoa! The rotors become a shield? I love it! A sonic blaster? Yes! These are the cutter clamps of my dreams. Power drivers. Nice. And here's mine, a winch whip. Hoist, you did a fantastic job. Absolutely. Yeah. I thought we could replay the car rescue as a simulation. Great idea. And filling in for Mrs. Rubio is... Hey, Chuck. How you doing? I'm fine. Okay, let's give him a try. Help is required. Help, help. You guys won't have much to do. I can handle this by myself now. Um, 
Uh, let me try that again. Unstable situation detected. Help is required. Help. Help. I got this. But you put on Watch it! Oh, look out! My turn. That's not supposed to happen. Huh? Whoa! Oh. Incoming! Ah. Stop button! Stop button! Who's button? And why do we need to stop him? Whoa! Stop button! Uh oh! Oh, stop button! Help no longer needed. Simulation fail. I believe that was what is officially known as a disaster. I'm so sorry, guys. Sorry? What if that had been a real rescue? Your tools would have made it even worse. It's not Hoist's fault. We asked him to build these, remember? Wedge is right, Whirl. I thought the tools were ready, but... I guess I'm just not the inventor you thought I was. I don't like seeing Hoist so sad. I shouldn't have blamed him. The tools almost worked. Sort of. All new technology requires a testing phase. If only we could make Hoist see that. Hey, maybe we can. Hoist? Hoist? Hoist. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> I wasn't scared. Come on, I have something to show you. Don't worry, it'll be a good thing. Hmm. This is not a good thing. <sighs> I'm sorry, Professor Boulder. I didn't think anybody would tell you about this, and... Congratulations, Hoist. For what? Hotshot showed me these and told me you invented them. Great job. But they were a disaster. Maybe they weren't perfect the first time, but that's how science works. You use failure to figure out how to succeed. You don't give up on something because of a few mistakes. Or on somebody. Sorry about the way I treated you. Of course. These still do need a few tweaks, but you'll get there. And if you ever want help, just ask. Um, Professor Boulder? Help, please? Cool Tools version 2.0. I think we fixed all the problems. Hey, it's an emergency call from Griffin Rock. Looks like you'll get to try these tools out for real. Uh, shouldn't we test them first, just, just to make sure? I'll be with you in case things go wrong. But I have full confidence in your inventions and in you, Hoist. Me too. Who's on board? I can't wait to give these a spin. Spin, get it? Unfortunately, I'm ready. Yeah! Thanks, guys. What's that white stuff? It's called milk. It comes from cows, but humans drink it. Weird, right? Cows come in chocolate, too, and strawberry. And if hundreds of gallons of it spill out of the truck, it can do a lot of damage. Whirl, hotshot, go down and get the humans off the hillside. Wedge, medics, move those rocks so Hoist can pull the truck back onto the road. Whip away! Hey, this works great! Mission about to be accomplished. All clear. Sorry, I forgot to bring milk. Beyond great. They're awesome. Great awesome. <laughs> I concur. Excellent job, Hoist. Well, yeah. Didn't we tell you all along you could do it? Humans have a saying about that. 
If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. It helps to have teammates who believe in you. Thanks, everyone. Hey, we do get to keep these, right? Oh, wow. Hey, did you hear the rumor about a special guest visiting the Academy today? You mean the rumor you started? Let me guess, you think it's Bumblebee. How did you know? Good, you're all here. There's someone I'd like you to meet. <gasps> Rescue bot recruits, please welcome Wes. Huh? Wes won Griffin Rock's Teen Pioneer Emergency Response Competition. Hmm. So he gets to spend a day with us at the Academy. Nice Hi, Wes. to meet you, Wes. Welcome to the I'm Academy. Voiced. Hey. Wes will do a shift with each of you during his visit, so we can see what special individual skills you bring to rescue work. Cool, I'll show you around first. Hey, thanks, Hotshot. Think you can teach me some of your cube moves? Wait, you know I'm a cube player? The best cube player? Cody told me all about you guys. I'm glad I finally get to meet you in person. Oh, what a cool kid! This assignment is gonna be so great! Whatever. Babysitting isn't rescue training. I'm going to the lab to do some real work. What's rusting his servos? Hmm. is how you ace the Recruit Agility course. Whoa, can I try? Uh, sure, but isn't it kinda big for you? Huh? <laughs> Boom! Oh, nice, Wes. I'm impressed. I guess being small can't stop a hero. <laughs> oh, come on. Is that a hydro fusion drive? Uh, yeah. It's a part of my piston clamp attachment that was damaged in a rescue. Never mind. Maybe I can help. No thanks, kid. I got this. Wes, why don't you join me until Wedge is available? Thus changing your sad face to one of happiness. Thanks, medics. Indeed. Ugh. Whoa, careful, Wedge. Is this your hydrofusion piston? What made you decide to work on it now? You've been putting it off for weeks. I just thought this was the day to finally fix it. Well, today's priority is Wes. Have you spent any time with him yet? No, but... I'd fix that first. Oh, and don't forget about the ground bridge maintenance test this afternoon. The portal will be open, and we don't want anyone accidentally falling through. Oh, thanks for the reminder, sir. Very impressive. You have taken to pressure bandage application like waterfowl to H2O. <laughs> you mean like a duck to water? Exactly. Humans say the strangest things. They can act strange, too. Can you explain why humans love watching videos of kittens? Hey, Wedge, are you free now? Ugh, sorry, kid. Still busy. Ugh! What is with this thing? Have you tried reversing the polarity? Hmm. I could help if you like. No, that's okay. I got it. Howdy, partner. Is it my turn to mosey you around? I guess. Then yeehaw! Let's hit the trail, cowboy. Huh. It was the polarity. I created this sim especially for you, Wes. Ready to lasso some varmints? Sure am, partner. It's all in the wrists. Yeehaw! 
Does this really count as rescue training? It's so much fun. Sure, you learn more when you're having a great time. And lassos can be super helpful on missions. You want to try? Swing it just like I showed you, then let it go. Yes, I mean, yee-haw. <laughs> see that, everyone? There's a new sheriff in town. Hey, want to see a trick shot? Uh... Ah! Okay, see what I just did? Don't do that. Where's Wedge? I think it's his turn with Wes. I don't know, but since he's not here, Wes can come with me. You do like flying, right? Training with your recruits is so awesome. There you are. You keep missing your turn with Wes. Believe me, I'm not missing anything, and neither is he. Hi, Wedge. Wes just gave me an awesome idea. Bungee cords on my basket hook so it's a comfier ride for humans. He's the best. Hey, great. You got your piston working. Uh, yeah. If you have time now, there's something in my journal I'd like to show you. Sorry, kid. Maybe later. More like maybe never. Hey, how about another flight? No thanks, Whirl. Nice! Ten times normal arm power! What are you doing, Wedge? Wes is going home soon, and you still haven't hung out with him. I'm a rescue bot recruit, not a babysitter. Heatwave said each of us had to spend time with Wes. It's not like you to ignore a mission. What's really going on? <sighs> Look, I don't have cool skills to show off like you guys do. Hanging out with me isn't exciting. <sighs> I'm construction equipment. How inspiring to a kid am I gonna be? More inspiring than you think. You're his favorite bot. What? Me? In fact, he told me that when he's a fully-fledged first responder, Wes hopes to be paired with you as a human bot team. You're his hero. That's why he knew all about fusion piston clamps and reverse polarity. And I just kept pushing him away. Oh, scraplets. <gasps> Where's the emergency? Griffin Rock, but we have another problem. The ground bridge was open for the maintenance test, and Wes just ran through. Who was supposed to be with him? It's my fault, sir. Then it's your job to deal with that emergency and keep Wes safe. Recruits, roll to the rescue. Wes! The building's collapsing. Help me get these workers to safety. Stay calm and keep moving. This way, please. It's safe over here. Wedge, that beam. I'm on it. Hurry. I'm not sure how long I can hold this up. What if you use your new fusion piston plant? That should give you the extra power you need. Good thinking, Wes. But I can't let go to reach the button. Medics, help the foreman. Save it for Wes. Couldn't have done it without him. And so, I wanted to say, I'm really sorry about how I treated you. That's okay. I'm sorry for going through the ground bridge without permission. To be fair, you saw an emergency and you acted. You even sounded the alarm for the rest of us. Yeah, those construction workers would have been in real trouble without your help. And me too. I'm glad you see that. So, the next time I assign you a task, even one you don't realize is important... I'll do it, sir. I'm sorry for letting you and Wes down. Hey, Wes. Ready for me to show you those cube moves? <laughs> nah, he probably wants to hit the lassos again with his partner. Or we could do a flyby over your high school. 
I have selected some excellent kitten videos. Sorry, guys. It's my turn. <laughs> <laughs>